What's up everyone, definitely want to share this one. For months now, my older brother and I have been living in a modern suburban nightmare against porch pirates. We shared a small apartment in a bustling complex, and as if life was not busy enough, these thieves have made it a habit of pilfering our Amazon packages right off of our doorstep. At first, it seemed like an isolated incident. We'd order some household essentials, maybe a new gadget or two, and occasionally find an empty porch where our package should have been. But then it became more frequent. We'd get a notification on our phones, rush to the door, and find nothing, absolutely nothing. We were frustrated to say the least. I mean, we've called the police, even told the apartment complex management what was happening, and even stake out at the porch a few times, hoping to catch the culprits in the act, but nothing seemed to be working. Our packages kept disappearing, and it felt like the universe itself was just taunting us, as we would reorder stolen items only to have them stolen again. My brother was the one who cracked first. He's had enough. One day, he slammed down his phone with his face flushed with anger and said, We've got to do something. We can't just sit here and let these thieves ruin us. I could see the determination in his eyes, and I knew he was right. We were both tired and feeling helpless. It was time to take matters into our own hands. So we could stage a package, he suggested, his voice tinged with mischievous spark. You know, fill it with stones, maybe a GPS tag, and then find out where these low lives live. I'll admit it sounded crazy at first, but the more we talked about it, the more it made sense. We needed to fight back. We needed to take control, and what better way to do that than to turn the tables on the pirates themselves? The next day, we were out buying supplies. We found the perfect box, small enough to be inconspicuous and big enough to hold the rocks and the GPS tag that we picked up. We'd been careful to choose a tracker that was discreet, something that would not be noticed and the thieves decided to open up the package. So, we spent the evening carefully assembling our trap, making sure everything looked just right. The weight of the stones mimicked the real package, and the GPS tag was hidden deep within we even used a fake shipping label from a popular online retailer <laughs> just to make it look authentic. As we sat back and looked at our creation, we felt a mixture of excitement and no hesitation. We'll leave it out tomorrow morning. My brother said with his voice filled with determination, this was our chance to find out what was behind the thefts. Update number one. A day's passed since my brother and I laid out our staged box, filled it with nothing but stones and a hidden GPS tracker. The anticipation was almost unbearable, and we've been so sure that our bait package would be snatched up quickly, just like all the others. But as the hours ticked by, the package remained untouched. Doubt began to sneak into my mind. What if they knew? What if they had somehow detached our trap and decided to leave it alone? The thought that our plan might have failed started to creep in, and I found myself wondering if we'd just been outsmarted by the very thieves that we were trying to catch. But then... Late into the evening, it happened. I was pulled from my thoughts by my brother's urgent voice with a bit of excitement and disbelief in his tone. It's gone. It's gone. The package is gone. My heart leaped into my throat as I rushed to open the tracking app on my phone, and sure enough, the GPS signal was on the move. It wasn't far. It was only a few buildings over, in fact. My eyes widened as I realized that the thief might actually be a resident at our complex. Well... My brother and I hurriedly grabbed our coats and rushed out the door, following the signal that would lead us to the person responsible for our stolen packages. As we approached the door to the apartment, where the signal had stopped, a mixture of excitement and fear it churned in my stomach. Who could it be? A neighbor? A friend? We knocked at the door, and our hearts pounded in our chest. A small, dazed-looking lady answered. Her eyes widened in confusion, and we began to explain why we were there. We told her about the stolen packages, about the staged bait, about how the GPS tracker had led us straight to her door, so she better start answering. She stammered, her face flushing as she spun a tale of a stranger handing her the package on her way home. She claimed innocence, handing us back the bait package with everything still intact. Her story seemed rehearsed, her words forced, her eyes darting nervously as we pressed her. She became more and more defensive, with her voice rising in pitch and her accusations flying. You have no right to come here and accuse me. Uh, you don't know anything. 
We backed off, not wanting to escalate the situation further. But the doubts, they were gone. We were 90% sure it was her. It had to be. She was the thief. We returned from that night home and our minds were spinning. The bait package had worked, but we were no closer to justice. If anything, we were just more frustrated than ever before. Knowing that the person responsible was so close, yet so far from our grasp. As we sat in our living room, the realization sank in. This was not over. We could not let it be over. We had to take a step further, for real. We had to make sure that our package was safe, that justice was done, but how? What could we do to finally catch the thief and put an end to the ordeal? The answers were elusive, but one thing was crystal clear. We were not done, not by a long shot. Update number two. Two long, frustrating weeks have passed since our confrontation with the lady and which we believed to be the thief. My brother and I had temporarily halted our online ordering. Uh, it was killing us. I had to get the new order of the comic books that I was waiting on. But we were not defeated. We knew that we needed a plan with our next move very carefully being planned. Our first step was the apartment complex's front office. We were detailed of our entire investigation, including the unsuccessful confrontation with the suspected thief, the old lady... The management listened with concern, but was unable to take immediate action without concrete proof evidence. However, they promised to keep a close watch on her activities and make security aware of the situation. The idea of setting another bait package lingered in our minds, but we wanted it to be something more than just rocks this time. Something that could not only catch the thief, but also serve as a sweet, sweet revenge. That's when my brother's eyes lit up like a diamond, and he mentioned the idea of ordering wild Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Ah, a chill. It ran down my spine at the thought, but a grin slowly spread across my face like the evil Joker. It was perfect. Imagine the lady's horror at opening a box filled with those giant hissing insects was enough to make us both chuckle. We, with this newfound determination, we ordered the package. A few days later, the box filled with creepy crawlers, Revenge, arrived. We GPS tracked it carefully as soon as it arrived and let it sit out on the porch, waiting for the thief to take the bait. As the hours ticked by, the tension mounted. Then, just like clockwork, the package was gone again. We wasted no time in calling the front office, showing them the GPS location, which unsurprisingly led straight back to the suspected lady's apartment. Security was dispatched, and we waited in a mix of excitement and anxiety, knowing that our plan was about to come to fruition. The sound of police sirens filled the air, followed by the street news. And, well, the thief had been arrested. But the best part... The security guards recounted the scene with barely concealed laughter. The lady had opened the package and the roaches scattered everywhere. Her apartment was crawling with the giant insects and her face was pale with terror. Her voice trembled as she admitted to her crime and my brother and I could not help but laugh. Feeling a sense of justice and satisfaction we had not felt in months. It was over. The thief was caught. The roaches had done their job. Or was it over? As we settled back into our normal lives, able to order packages without fear, a nagging doubt remained. Was she working alone? Were there others involved? Was this truly the end of the thievery at our apartment? Well, it plagued us for so long, we could not shake the feeling that there might be more to the story. That the Roach Revenge was just one more chapter in a tale that was far from over, but for now, we can breathe easy knowing that justice has been served and that the thief had been caught and taught a lesson that she will never forget. Update number three. It's been a month since the arrest, and life has finally returned to normal for my brother and me. Our porch was once again graced by the regular arrival of packages, each one a symbol of victory over the thief who had tormented us for so long. We learned later that the thief had been evicted from the apartment for breaking community rules. There was a sense of closure and knowing that she was gone, that the constant paranoia of watching our porch was behind us. Yeah, despite the win, a shadow of empathy began to creep in my thoughts. I don't know, I found myself pondering what could...
could have driven her to such an act. Even when we knew it was her, she still came back for more. Why did she choose to steal? Was it desperation, greed, a cry for help? Did she need the money? I don't know. I just couldn't shake the image of her face. She was truly terrorized as the roaches crawled out of the stolen packages with her voice cracking and screaming as she admitted to her guilt. Uh, her voice still trembles in my mind as she yelled, I didn't do it on purpose. I couldn't help but feel a bit of sorrow for her. We had brought her to this point, I guess. Was there a hidden story, a tragic background that led her down this path? I guess we'll never know. My brother and I, to this day, we still often talk about it, with our conversations filled with a mixture of curiosity. We knew that we'd never truly understand her motives, but we still thought about it and questioned. Ah, oh well, it's over now, and I finally got my Amazon comics. Let's check out some comments from the original post, but let me know downstairs in our comment section, what would you do if you had an Amazon thief package? Comment number one says this, Kudos to you and your brother. You took matters into your own hands when no one else would help. The fact that you managed to not only catch this thief, but also teach her a lesson is impressive. Keep protecting your turf. Comment number two, Got a lot of attention. A lot of people were saying, are you out of your mind? What are you talking about? They handled it perfectly. Here's comment two. I understand your frustration, but using hissing cockroaches, that's just gross and overly cruel, especially against an old lady. There were other ways to catch her without resorting to something so disgusting. This makes me question your judgment. A lot of the commenters were saying, hey, uh, you forgot the part where she is a thief? Here's comment three. I must say, the idea of the bait box was pure genius. A classic trap, but executed with flair, intelligence. It's not just about the revenge. It's about the creativity, the way that you use technology to solve your problems. Now, let's check out comment number four. I can't blame you one bit for what you've done. I had a similar experience where my packages were stolen repeatedly, and it drove me to the edge of insanity. Sometimes you have to take extreme measures to protect yours. I commend you for taking a stand. And the final commenter says this. You do what you have to do, right? And there's no way you're the a-hole in this situation. What your neighbor was doing was not only unethical, but illegal. You took the necessary steps to stop a criminal. I don't care if she was an old lady. She was stealing every day. Others should take notes from your bravery and your cleverness in handling the situation. So guys, now that we've heard from those five commenters, let's hear from your advice. Drop it downstairs in our comment section. My name's Mr. Reddito. Thank you for joining me on today's story about an Amazon thief. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember... It's cool to be kind. Ooh.